Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Nanolids at Dawn. This is Shadow Fury 333 with another exhibition match, and yes, there will be several today because I was not able to really stream this weekend for reasons of being busy. So I feel I need to make it up by streaming a lot today. So we're going to be going on for at least another hour, I think. So this is going to be Kshatriya and Rymark on Trojan Hills. I was actually playing against Rymark on Trojan Hills the other day. There we go. Come on, you. There we go. Ow, oh, come on. Hang on a sec. Hey, is something going on here? Hmm. Anyway, I was, as I was saying, I was actually playing against Rymark the other day on Trojan Hills. It was a jump, they were playing jump bot, although Kshatri is also going for jump bot. I went for Cloakie myself. It didn't go well. But, Rymark basically took over the map really quickly. And rather terrifyingly, but Kshatriya with, I mean, jump bot versus jump bot is an odd matchup. Seeing as Pyros, I don't, no, Pyros cannot ignite each other. So it becomes harder to kill the other player's units. And puppies are tricky because of the pyro flame. Kind of tricky to hit puppy, to hit pyros with, but I think pyros don't quite have the same range. And if you look at puppy range versus pyro range, puppies have puppies have a range of 170 elmos, while the range of oh yeah, 280. So yeah, puppies cannot get in in time, which means you're dealing with moderators, moderator versus pyro, and then the moderators become targets for placeholders, and py pyros themselves. Pyros are going to be a very key unit. They're going to be used a lot. Rymark immediately figuring out if Kshatriyas starting over in the south. No, they're not. They're starting over in the western side of the map. Both players starting in the aggressive point. And this is where you want to start if you're trying to be aggressive. Which, in 1v1, is usually where you want to start. I only see people start here if they're going for an air start. And even then, that usually only happens in 2v2. Or on banded planes, which is basically this, but bigger. Yeah, and Trojan Hills... This comes up occasionally, but usually it is the southwest or northeast start. And Rymark getting very much ahead in energy. Possibly a bit too much ahead, although they are wind gen, so it's not the biggest deal. And they are going to go for the harass. Not going to be able to do more than maybe one metal extractor's worth of destruction. And that pyro will not... Oh, will it get away? Oh, just barely Kshatriya catches that pyro. Makes it pay for destroying their base. And actually, that's really nice because that's... 118 metal, I mean, that's 88 metal reclaim. That more than pays for the metal extractor that was destroyed and the metal that was lost, losing the metal extractor. So Rymark's basically giving Kshatriya all they need right now to get back in. They didn't do much damage. However, they did distract a bit. So Kshatriya did not deal damage to Rymark back. So right now, Rymark, ooh, actually might be in a similar position. Kshatriya will be able to get rid of this metal extractor. Are they going to go for it? They will, and they should be able to succeed. Yeah, that will light it on fire. That will burn it down. Rymark not... Ooh, Rymark just barely repairing it. But they have enough energy to do that. No problem. So right now, Kshatriya is not going to be anywhere near ahead. In fact, they're going to... Whatever advantage they just gained from getting that reclaim available, which they haven't actually taken yet, they've lost. Because they've donated the amount of metal that they would have gained themselves. Like, they've... So right now, Rymark's ahead, basically. Lost a bit of defenses, but it doesn't look like any follow-ups are coming from that angle. And the angle from which they are coming does have defenses and does have moderators. And the moderators are going to be a real pain in the butt. I'm a bit surprised that puppies aren't being made, though. Because at this point, to get rid of the moderators, you'd kind of want to. And Kshatri actually is making more pyros. Yeah, it's the only cost-effective way to get rid of the moderators other than Jack's. Mostly because Jax just don't care. But even then, Jax gets slowed down to the point that it still becomes problematic. When you consider that moderators can only hit one target every 12 seconds or so, it's... or 10 seconds, sorry. It's hard. Unless you're using a lot of units, and a lot of tiny units. And when you're playing jump bot, that means puppies. Man, right now, Kshatra, they have the southwest, sort of. They have the northwest. This is the part that I screwed up. I didn't take this hill. That was a big mistake in my part. And Kshatra is not making that mistake. They're taking this hill. They're holding this hill as best they can. They aren't having to contest the hill at the moment, but they are taking it. And Rymark taking the northeast hill over here. Setting it up. And, oh, Kshatra, good to point out, Kshatra is energy stalling and starting to excess metal. Rymark also very nearly accessing metal. Kshatra, however, is rectifying the energy stall as quickly as they can. 
Or at least they're trying to. Not completely, though. They are getting to the point where they're going to excess metal. And they are still building... Why is this building a metal extractor? They realize they need more energy, but yet they're building a metal extractor. And not higher prioritizing the energy generators. Because they're at excess point. Rymark got quite the army going. Moderators, puppies. Some pyros coming up Kshatriya. That's about all they have at the moment. Yeah, they have one pyro. They don't have much else. Rymar could just march in right now and win. Oh, they have two pyros, not a mistake, but this one's gonna die right away. Ooh, no, never mind. Nice jump. Getting into this northern base, the more protected area. In a jump bot mirror, that is harder to hold. And nice free kill for Kshatriya as well. So right now, Kshatriya, they haven't done... They don't have a huge amount of army, but they have managed to deal a fair bit of damage. Despite the lack of army. This north expansion is basically dead. Freakers are going to try to come back to slow down this pyro further, but basically, at this point, Rymark's lost the north side. And with that, they are accessing... Both players are accessing massively. Kshatriya just about at the energy levels they need. Not sure why they're going for a caretaker when they have workers right there, and not sure why they aren't building... Okay, this kind of makes sense. They don't want to get hit. But I'm not sure why they aren't building more power generators. Where is their... Like, there's their commander. And more wind gens coming up. Okay, now they're good. But Rymark's just e-stalling because they don't have enough pushing into the factory. They only have 15 metal per second going into the factory. They don't have... And actually, not even that. No caretakers, no additional workers. Not much beyond that 15... An attack coming in in the northwest base. Moderators shooting off all their bullets on reload. The pyros cannot hit them in time, though. Just barely too far away. The moderators will tear that apart. Nice timing, though. That was a really good idea. It just it wasn't close enough. They didn't hit close enough. Those moderators were able to get away. But that was a really nice idea in the timing, because those moderators were otherwise defenseless. But the puppies worked nicely. That set everything up. That being said, though, Kshatriya and Rymark both are not producing at their potential. Nowhere near. Like, Kshatriya is not using this Freaker to help out. Not building another Caretaker. They need two or three more Caretakers. Right now. If they were, if either player were to do that, they would win. Immediate, or not quite immediately, but they would basically get everything they need to win. Rymark, however, building up a gunship plant instead. That's where their medal's going, so this is going to give Rymark pretty much the advantage they need to take this. And Kshatriya, are they... They're not building another factory. They're just... They're building... Oh, they're morphing their commander. That's what they're doing. Trying to use their metal that way. And Rymark about to lose their commander. This looks pretty grim. Yeah, it looks pretty grim. Rymark's commander's down. And with that, down goes that caretaker too. Slowing down the production of that brawler by about 10 seconds. Not the biggest deal, but it's still at least something. But Kshatriya's commander as well getting hit by the firewalker... Tearing apart the center with the brawler coming in as well, which is not going to take too long yet. This will be a tough situation for Kshatriya to deal with. The defenders will help, but this brawler is... Actually, no, it won't help. The defenders don't have the range. So that brawler is kind of... Actually, what I'm really surprised by is those pirates should have seen that. I mean, I'm fairly certain... Oh, no, they didn't. No, 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 no. Kshatriya did not see that gunship plant. If they saw it, they'd be building a razor right now. But they didn't. And that is a major problem. So Kshatri... Or no, Rymar coming with the Jack. Kshatri does have their own Jack as well. So we're in the Jack Pyro phase. Which I guess is a phase. I mean the Jacks kind of deal with the Moderator. But they get slowed so heavily. And wait. Is the, is the Brawler out range the Gunship? I mean, sorry. I thought the Brawler outranged the Defender. Yeah, it does. Brawler just barely outranges Defender. Just not at that range. Getting in a bit too far, but still, yeah, defenders don't do much. Razors do. Razors, I think, 1,000 range or something like that. Yeah, 1,040 range. So that'll deal with the brawler, no problem, but that should have been built a while ago. It's just, like I said, it was close. Kshatra barely didn't see that. So, right now, Rymark... Kind of even, actually. Given the excess that happened before, it's kind of even. Kshatriya needs more production. They are now building another caretaker, but why do they not... I'm just surprised they didn't push more metal into that factory beforehand. 
And this worker, it needs to go and be, be helping this factory out right now. Like just guard the factory, assist, or rather, assist build that factory. You have the metal, you have the energy, you desperately need to use it. And more of the center being torn to shreds. And nanoframe spam just to get rid of everything. Just stop, just basically stop all the puppies from getting in with the nanoframe spam. Not a bad idea, it seems to be working okay. But that's not what Shatri needs to do, and they are now doing what they need to do. Now getting this set up, I don't know why this particular constructor is idle. Should not be the case. Rymark, on the other hand, they are also close to accessing... What are they building? Oh, building a rapier. Yeah, so this is... This is kind of painful for Chetra, though. I mean, they don't... They have relatively equivalent production when you consider that Rymark is not actually building much. And they aren't using the metal they have. Chetra finally is with that second caretaker coming in here. And that gunship plant looks pretty much doomed. At least that that's actually a pretty good victory. Get rid of the gunship plant. They can get rid of the brawlers on top of that. And with jump bots, they have archangels, and archangels are very powerful. Flips to pointing out that the defenders actually get the top of the defender gets aimed at, so brawlers end up having less effective range. Decent point, I guess they're about even, but still. I wouldn't recommend the use of defenders in that case. I would still recommend the use of razors. And these jacks not able to jump in quick. If they just jumped right now, I realize jumping is kind of suicide, but they're dead anyway. There we go. That's what they need to do. Get quickly get out of the range of the brawler. Because these jacks are kind of on a suicide mission. If they can get rid of the caretaker. That'll help a lot. There we go. Got rid of the caretaker. That's one thing they desperately need to do now. It's just 15 metal into that jump pot factory compared to 30 for Kshatriya. And with no gunship plant, Rymark basically has half of Kshatriya's production despite having 5 metal more per second. Which means Kshatriya can easily rebuild. They have the Archangels. Building up some defenses because why not? The only thing, the only problem is the fact that these are still pyros and these are still brawlers and there's not much to specifically deal with them. Okay, I guess there is that. There is the Razor, but otherwise there's not much. There's the Archangel, but that's a bit out of the way. No anti-air, no airbase anti-air from Shatria. There is, I mean, that Razor is a very nice area denial. But then the Pyro's become a problem. And actually, if the Brawlers can be close enough, the Pyro's can get rid of the Razor. And they're about to do so as the Razor's exposed. Gets no armor benefit. As Torn to Shreds, the northeast side is down. And this, this pile of nanoframes will not protect anybody. So Rymark still has a very, very easy way of just pushing in here. Ooh, nice reaction on that jump there. Avoiding that placeholder shot. And breaking through the center, but the southeast is so open right now. I'm surprised Rymark is not going through it. If Rymark went through the southeast, they'd take the game. Right now. But they aren't getting distracted by the jacks over to the north. That's going to give Chatria a decent amount of time to pull back in. And Rymark not producing anything, relying entirely on the army they have right now, while Chatria continuing to produce an army. Like, larger and larger army, and that Archangel is nowhere nearby. Pyro is doing what they can, which is unfortunately not too much. And Kshatra with the Disruptor shot. Oh, is that... No follow-up, though. No puppies, no Pyros, no Disruptor... No moderators, I mean, of their own. So nothing to follow up to stop those Pyros. That Disruptor shot didn't have much of an effect, except revealing the existence of the Disruptor shot. Kshatra with an airplane plant. Rymark with... Ooh, Caretaker over the Northwest. What are they going to do with that? One Archangel was here, actually. Someone was pointing out in the chat, one Archangel would have gone a long way. They built an Archangel. Not sure where it went off to, but it looks like it got killed in one fight. But yeah, they had one. Might have been burnt out by the, by the Firewalker. Yeah, Kshatra had an Archangel. At any rate, no one's taken this this center eastern section, and somebody should. Rymark probably should take that back. If Chetra can take it, they should. And nice harassment in the northwest. Not much to deal with that, and that caretaker... This is perfect timing. Absolute perfect timing, right as the amphib plant is completed. For the alternative, it looks like for boys, just to slow everything down. Right as that's completed, Chetra runs into it, 
finds it, destroys it. That's 600 metal down the drain that Rymar's going to have to reclaim to get back. I'm not sure. I don't think Chatter expected that. But that was still... Per no, they didn't. They had no radar coverage of that at all. But that was still absolutely perfect timing. And with the Swiss coming in afterwards, this is a major blow to Rymar. Now, the metal isn't a major blow. Like, the lack of metal is a problem. The, their metal production isn't, though. They have plenty. I mean, they have, they've been accessing for the last two or three minutes. It's more just that they were going to go for Amphib, and it got stuffed right at the last second. Still, they're... Ooh! Good to have the Thunderbird, not the best time to use it. No follow-up. Nekshatra is doing a lot of stuff where it's just strong attacks, but no follow-up. And that Pyro Suicide, I mean, it kind of made sense to, tear, to stuff that Amphib plant. And more Pyros coming in, so at least... Oh, this is going to die. This is, will not kill the Lotus in time. The Lotus will kill it first. Okay, this is where the Thunderbird needs to attack. It gets rid of the Pyros, and... Oh, did not attack? Ouch. Micromanagement failure, I'm afraid. That is going to basically mean the death of this entire outpost, which could have been avoided... Why is that not firing? Okay, this is really weird. It... Chatria needs to go in for another pass, because the AI is deciding, no, it doesn't want to fire. It's being insubordinate. Which is a real pain in the butt sometimes. That, that occasionally happens. Not super often, but it does, and that's... That is annoying. Oh, it gave the attack order too late. Could be, yeah. And finally getting rid of that pesky firewalker, but still... The Thunderbird's not able to do its job, and that's a huge... Oh man, the Thunderbird hit this! Well, okay, now it's too late. Now it's... Yeah, that stuns everything. I meant before they all came together, not now. Honestly, too many jacks. The one thing Chatria is not doing is mixing their forces much. They had a bit of that earlier on, but really not much, and they're just relying so much on their level 3 commander here. It's not working. They're losing economy, they're not rebuilding their economy. They're... Trying to stun stuff out, but they're not having... They have the follow-up. They stun the follow-up. They just have not been able to make this game. I, Rymark has this game. Pretty much once this army moves in, Kshatria does have some tools, but they have no follow-up. They aren't really being used. Actually, had tools. Looks like the Thunderbird itself has gone down. The moderator's pull, probably knocked it out of the sky. Yeah, because the one problem with moderators is that... Like, Jax... Okay, they can tank mod. Oh, never mind. Sorry, there. They can tank moderators, but they can't really deal with them. They get slowed down. They're already slow, and the slow effect of the disruptor beam just kills them. Oh, and this pyro barely survived the lotus. Actually, managed to take care of the north side. So, at least Rymark's losing a bit more economy, and more follow-up napalm bomb. Not bad, but not great. So Napalm Bomber's coming in, and of course it's going to be... Seem, does there even need to be an Archangel? I mean, there might be, but the Moderators are doing just fine against single-air targets, so I don't know if there's going to even be much need for it. Rymark, like I said, surprisingly not rebuilt. Now they're rebuilding. These Freakers going down in the back to rebuild. Chatra not rebuilding. A bit too timid. A bit too afraid of losing everything, and... Actually, do they even have any workers? Doesn't matter. Chatra throws in the towel. Wow, that was... That was kind of sudden, but yeah, they didn't... They never really had the army they needed. It wasn't. It never got big enough, and it never synced enough with their like when they needed the Thunderbird and the follow up. They never synced anything. That was that was kind of the problem. There just wasn't enough coordination there. So anyway, that was that. Next game is that was an odd game indeed. Flipstep and Rymark on hide and seek. This should probably also be a bit of an odd game since it's hide and seek. But yeah, Kshatris did not get anything together. That was the problem. The entire game. Nothing really meshed. I mean, there was actually... A, there was a chunk in the earlier part of... Like, that pyro attack was good. It just ended up getting stuffed by the brawlers. And there wasn't much to follow up. And then the brawlers, like, over here as well was powerful. But they didn't know about the brawlers in time. They couldn't could get the razor up. If they got rid of the brawlers earlier, then they wouldn't have had to worry about it in the northwest. And then it would have been an easier t assault into the north and then possibly to the main base. But anyway, that was that, so next game is going to be Rymark and Flipstep on Hide and Seek, so stay tuned for that. We'll be up in just a moment.